Let me turn now to development and regulatory policies. We plan to build the Reserve Bank's development measures over the next few quarters on five pillars. These are, one, clarifying and strengthening the monetary policy framework, two, strengthening banking structure through new entry, branch expansion, encouraging new varieties of banks, and moving foreign banks into better regulated organizational forms. Three, broadening and deepening financial markets and increasing their liquidity and resilience so that they can help absorb the risks entailed in financing India's growth. Four, expanding access to finance to small and medium enterprises, to the unorganized sector, to the poor, and to remote and underserved areas of the country through measures to foster financial inclusion. And five, improving the system's ability to deal with corporate distress as well as financial institution distress by strengthening real and financial restructuring as well as debt recovery. Now, given these, uh, these goals, uh, let me talk a little bit about the actions that have already been announced. The action on the monetary policy framework, as you know, will follow the submission of the Dr. Urjit Patel committee report. A number of measures to strengthen bank structures and financial markets have already been announced, and more will follow as they worked out. The strategy to expand financial inclusion will be informed by the Dr. Najiket Moore committee report, though significant efforts to explore the use of technology are already underway.